Well, tonight, the Oakland Unified School Board could vote on a proposed COVID vaccine mandate for eligible students. The public meeting started at 6 o'clock and five hours later. It is still going on. KTV's Jana Katsuyama has been monitoring that meeting and joins us live with the latest developments. Jana. Andre, this is all online and just a few minutes ago, the board members still have not weighed in tonight, but they just announced that they will be taking public comment through 1120 before the board debate begins. And tonight, parents, community members and teachers have been speaking out with some very emotional testimony about this plan. Vaccine mandates for children have become an ongoing debate as students return to school this year and the numbers of COVID-19 cases increase. At the Oakland School Board's virtual meeting Wednesday night, the vaccine mandate proposed by three board members, Sam Davis, Gary Yee, and Cliff Thompson, drew a divided response. Some people were opposed. Next speaker is Sharika. Oh, I'm just going to let you know that I'm against mandatory vaccination. Thank you. Adding this vaccine as a requirement would be premature and unscientific, it would not be waiting for the data. Others say they supported the proposed mandate to allow exemptions only for students with medical conditions, create a tracking system for student vaccinations, and develop an enforcement and vaccination plan for unvaccinated students. There's many um, vaccines that children have to get to enter school, and if parents are not willing to get COVID-19 vaccines for their children, then they, they need to find another plan to uh, educate them. Supporters said 71% of Oakland children ages 12 to 17 have received at least one dose of the COVID vaccine and 54% are fully vaccinated. At the board meeting, the student representative said many students want more education on the vaccine. There needs to be information spread to our students about how the COVID vaccine works. <laughs> At a local soccer field, there was mostly support for a mandate. My son is uh, vaccinated. He's had both his doses. Um, it makes life a lot easier for everyone if uh, if the kids are vaccinated. As a teacher, I would love it just because I think it would make it a little bit safer in the classroom. I don't think the mask thing is reliable. I mean, the kids go outside at lunch, off come the masks, they're eating their food. They're like, you know, I mean, they're kids, right? So, you know, the vaccine, I know, is for sure. The masking thing is kind of on and off. Some parents said the board should go beyond mandates just for students and include teachers as well. It is hypocritical and irresponsible to impose a vaccine mandate on our children while not mandating that staff and teachers be vaccinated. If the student vaccine mandate is approved, it would put a big task on the superintendent and the staff to create enforcement policies, vaccination plans, and also tracking. And at this point, I just checked in on the online meeting. It is likely to go well past midnight before the board goes past the debate and gets to a vote. This on is it. one of those issues when a lot of people uh, weigh in because it's so controversial. Janet Katia, I'm reporting for us live. Janet, thank you.